This week in Grand Theft Auto Online, we have a million dollar car on the wheel, as you can see in front of me right now. We also have some double money opportunities, and we also have a way to make $660,000 per hour, if not more, with one of the triple money events going on this week. This is huge! What's going on, everybody? This is Fantagar with 100% gaming and look at that wanker just walk straight in front of my shot guys if you haven't already make sure to subscribe like comment as it really helps out a small channel like mine all right let's get to it so the car on the wheel today is a awesome bright red vapid torero it is a awesome car and is based off the lamborghini kun Tash. Now it is a very quick car in the Sport Classic range. It's one of the fastest cars, so it is also good for racing. Now if you were going to buy this car, it does cost $998,000, so it's really close to a million bucks. Got really close to the car this week, but unfortunately I got RP, which is absolutely useless for me. The first car that we have on discount this week is the Shyster Deviant. And we also have the Itali GTO. Now it is on quite a nice discount. It was on the lucky wheel a few weeks ago, but if you weren't lucky and you didn't get it, now is your time. It is a fantastic sports car. It is the first or second fastest in its class. The RC Bandito was on sale, which is great if you don't have it to complete those time trials to get 200k every week. But also, RC Bandito races are double money and RP this week also. The annoying piece of shit Invade and Persuade tank is on discount as well. And the final few vehicles we have on discount this week are all on Arena War. They are the Arena Ready Vehicles. We have the Cerebus, the Brutus, the Scarab, the Impenetrator and the ZR380. They're all nice cars and they're all on sale. Now you can either buy the Apocalypse ones, the Future Shock, or the Nightmare versions. It just depends on your taste. They're all exactly the same. Simeon's repo missions are double money and RP, and they are a great way to make some guaranteed money with a friend if you don't want to compete against anyone else. There's a whole list of them there, and they are a little bit fun. Now, there are about 15 RC Bandito races, and they all are on double money and RP this week. So if you enjoy racing, this is probably the races you want to do this week. Now, in my opinion, the best way to make money this week is by using the Arena War Adversary Modes as they all are triple money and triple RP this week. So these are going to be so good for farming. Time trial for this week is Vinewood Bowl and you do need to complete it in 2 minutes 30. It is a long race but guys if you think you're messing it up just hold the reset button on control it is Y and you'll be teleported back to the start and you can start the whole thing again. The RC Bandito time trial is the La Fene Blanca and you need 1 minute 30 to beat that. Now guys, I highly recommend buying the RC Bandito this week to complete this time trial. Each time trial does give you $200,000, so you will actually pay that off in just 5 weeks. $200,000 every week is just great for that little bit of extra money. So in terms of what making money this week, as I said earlier, the motor was the... Uh, as I said... Now in terms of best way to make money this week, I highly suggest the Arena War Adversary Modes. There is a huge range of them and they are all completely different. If you like driving vehicles, you know, having weapons on your vehicles and stuff, these things are really, really good. My favourite is actually the one wearing the buggies and you have to hide from the monster trucks. It's so much fun, I forget the name of it. But anyway, yeah, right now I'm doing one of the death race type modes. I'm in the... Guys, I really highly suggest you use the Death Bike. It's quick, it's nimble, it's so much faster than any other vehicle. Basically, with any adversary mode, you want to be using the Death Bike if you have it. Now, you definitely want to have a vehicle at least with some weapons attached to it. Otherwise, seriously, you are so disadvantaged in these modes, it's not funny. There's even one mode where the objective is to take out the enemy players. And if you don't have a weapon... The you're not doing nothing. You are just going to lose that adversary mode. Now, of course, you want to win so you can make the most money possible. And we all know with adversary modes, if you lose, you really don't make so much money. Now, when doing adversary modes, I always say, make them as long as possible. Have as many rounds as you think you want to do. And also have the timer on quite a long time. Don't do it too long because people will get bored. People will leave reducing your discount. But I find three or four 
rounds to be pretty decent. Now if you're any good at these adversary modes, you can actually make up to $200,000 per event. So it's actually really beneficial and you really want to do them. And I think it goes without saying, but adversary modes are also great for playing with your friends. They are just a bunch of fun, even if it's not triple money in RP. But yeah, come in with a few friends. Basically, you know, you're going to have a better time and you're going to be more confident in winning these adversary modes. Now, as you can see here on the podium, I actually came second. I got blown up by a bloody uh, RC Bandito mine and that finished my run. I guess it says we were up for being on the death bike. That only... Now this game mode took just under 5 minutes and the winner actually got $55,000. That's actually a huge chunk. I came second and got $38,000. Now if you're actually really good at these Arena War Adversary modes and you win time and time again and each mode takes just 5 minutes, you're going to be making around $660 thousand dollars every single hour in Grand Theft Auto Online. That is insane. Everyone should be doing this right now. This is one of the best ways that you can make money hands down, if not the best, if you win every single round. Now with that all said and done, that's all the ways to make money and all of the discounts for this week. If I've missed one, let everyone know down in the comments and let me know as well. That would be really, really helpful. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe guys as it really helps out a small channel like mine. Alright guys, we'll see you online.